Hello everyone, this is Adam Anderson, Product Trainer at Maple Systems. In a previous video, we showed you how to set up a bar graph to display a tank level visually, and we tied this to an alarm and turned on a bit lamp when the target range was between 40 and 60 on the bar graph. In this video, we'll show you how to set up a dynamic bar chart with a scale and parameters that you can set for low and high alarm bands for a target range on the bar graph itself and for a minimum and maximum range on the bar graph so that can be adjusted. To begin let's look at the settings again in the bar graph properties. Click on the range tab and to begin let's look at the basic settings here. So the target indicator if we enable this we can set a target value we'll set it to 50 we'll set the tolerance to 10 so this will again go from 40 to 60 and it will change the color of the bar graph only in that range. We'll use a dark green color there and then we'll set a low limit of 5 and a high limit of 95. Let's see how it looks when we do that. We'll use offline simulation here. Now we see the yellow briefly while it's in the low alarm band region the target range becomes dark green and at the top there we see that high alarm band goes red. So now we'll take a look at the dynamic settings that we can apply to the bar graph. So we go back to the range tab. First we're going to enable the dynamic target alarm setting here. When we first check this box it will start us off at local word 0 as a read address and it will set up the consecutive registers, two of them, local word one and two, after that as high limit and target value, respectively. If we also want to use a dynamic range for the graph for a min and max value, we can check this box. And then correspondingly, we will be using local word three and four. Because these registers may not be memorable, we've set up some tags in our address library just for this purpose. So we'll start from bar low at local word 5 and we'll go to target for example at local word 7 and then min and max at local words 8 and 9. So we'll use those addresses in this example now. So we'll check this box and set the first tag bar low and then we'll check dynamic zero span and it will automatically pick the set of consecutive registers following that and that will match up with our use defined tags we've set up. Now that we've done that we just need to add some numeric objects to the screen so we can input the values for these parameters. Okay so now we've added our numeric input objects for each of these parameters for the bar graph. We also set up some set word objects on the screen so when we first open the window we'll start with some same default values. For example a maximum of 100 and a high alarm band value of 95 and a target value of 50 like we had before. But with the dynamic bar graph features that we've set up, now we'll still be able to adjust each of those parameters after we visit this window. Let's take a look. Here we see the bar max, bar high, and target. So these are all acting just like we had it before when we had static values. Now let's change this. Bar max will set to 200. And now it will only creep up to the center of the bar graph, respectively, because our value is just ranging from 0 to 100 now. So we'll see that. And it will go back down now. Now we can adjust other things, like the minimum value. So between 10 and 200, we'll set a low of 25 can change the high to 90 for example, change the target to 35, and it will respond accordingly. The only thing missing is a scale, so we know exactly what the value is 
by glancing at the bar graph and we don't always need to look at the accompanying numeric display object over here. So let's do that now. To add a scale we can go to the object tab, select chart and dynamic scale. We'll choose the horizontal style. We'll choose yellow so it stands out. Five ticks and no sub ticks. Then go to the scale label tab, check this box and we'll set white as the color for the font. And then we'll set up dynamic limits and here's where we can reuse our user-defined tags that we set up earlier. First we're going to reverse top and bottom so as an example you see now it goes from 0 to 100 and we need to now select the minimum value using this bar min tag that we set up before. So now bar min will be the minimum the top will use the bar max tag at local word 9. Now we'll click OK and we'll add this to our window and we just need to adjust it and we'll make it fit right over the existing bar graph. OK, now let's try it again from offline simulation. Now we see that scale along the side. Let's go ahead and change some of these parameters again. The scale also adjusts automatically. So this makes it a lot easier to understand what are the range of numbers that you're dealing with, what are your ranges for your low and high alarms, for example, and even where is your target range, roughly. So that's all for this episode. In the next video, we'll discuss scaling raw inputs, and I'll show you an example of unscaled and scaled values showing on our screen using numeric displays. Check it out.